well. It is June 10th, about the hottest day of the year, not quite, but it's up in the, supposed to get it to 92 today. We were supposed to uh, go camping here, when was it, Monday night, and uh, Dave had some plumbing problems, had to get them worked on, so didn't get up here till today. We're just going to stay overnight, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, maybe some tonight. So we're gonna, I'm going to sleep in my hammock, he's going to sleep in his new, uh, what's the name of it? It's the Quarter Dome. Quarter -E Dome by REI. -E yeah. So uh, what we'll maybe do is give a little uh, breakdown on that. Uh, we'll have him give you a little tour. And uh, I know some of you are thinking about getting a Quarter Dome. And uh, if you watch uh, pretty soon, I'll have a short review on my uh, uh, Lunar Solo. Uh, uh, and uh, you can kind of compare the two. There's two different approaches to one-man camping and uh uh, it'll give you two options. So we're just getting here. We just got walked in. There's a nice breeze right now and we're in the shade So it's not too bad. Met a nice guy who's uh, willing to share uh, site 10 with us So that's been great and uh, maybe we'll introduce him later if he doesn't mind and uh, if not That'll be okay, too, but uh, we're uh, Just gonna we're just here to relax. We haven't been out. I haven't been out since I was camping well with you uh, was it February uh, in February, February. Yeah. that was car camping and I haven't been backpacking since our trip to New York State on the Fred Cosimano trail so uh, I packed in all right feel tired but uh, not too bad and uh, I'll be nine pounds lighter when we leave because I, I carried uh, nine pounds of water in so uh, we should be in a lot better shape on the way out so all right we'll get back I think that we're at Mohican at site number 10 and uh, so just want to let you know that we a uh, uh, little couple tips about uh, hiking in the summer. I have a lot less weight that I'm carrying because you don't have to carry so many clothes and blankets, sleeping bags, that kind of stuff. And uh, one of the things I always try to do is in my pack, I always try to keep all of my stuff for my actual camp a setup in the bottom. Use their bottom compartment for their sleeping bag, but uh, I use it instead for all of my camping gear the tent and all of that kind of stuff the hammock the tarp i always keep it in there because if it rains and we get to camp late i know right where it is and i can put my tarp up right away and then i can set up underneath of that so that's just a little hint maybe if you're a new to backpacking you might want to try that so fred i i've got my new tent out the quarter rei quarter dome one and right in the back, there's this big set of instructions, which I normally do not look at until I've tried for about an hour to put the tent up. But this time, this time I'm going to go ahead and at least look at the pictures and then see, uh, see if there's anything that I need to figure out from there. Yeah, so this is really a, a, a real review, not just of the tent, but of actually... Oh, he's just set up because that's right out of the bag, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you haven't set it up or even check for all the pieces here. and parts. Right. So REI's that. reputation is on the line today. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. So talk to me about this. What, tell you what. Tell me what you had to do to set it up. All right. I would tell you that item one is to stake out the four corners of the tent. I didn't bother with that. <laughs> the thing I like about a self-standing tent is I can put the poles in. And then I can adjust it just a little bit before I stake it down. Yeah. So I like the ones that stand up by themselves. I can pick it up and move it. But I think yeah. if it does rain tonight, I've got it on some gently sloping ground as yep. good as I can get it to where this probably is where I'm going to go ahead and stake uh -huh. it down at night. But, uh, so you got a cross piece here. Right, cross piece here, cross piece up here. And I think where you save the weight is it just has the one pole that comes down through the center. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. But it all, uh, it looks good. Hopefully I'll fit in it. We'll later today. <laughs> yeah, it's not not very wide, is it? Do you know what the actual measurements are? I don't off the top of my okay. head, but I, it does have a pretty nice bathtub uh, floor. Yeah. That goes up about what? Looks like six or eight inches. It does. So that's pretty good. Yeah. And you say it has just a one side just in one door. Yeah. On a single tent. Yeah, I'm sure they save weight on the zipper and stuff yeah. that way too. Yeah. yeah. And only one vestibule. Yeah. Off yeah. Side, yeah. So. The way I have it set up today, that'll be facing you, Fred, so I can bother you all night. Yeah. <laughs> no jokes, whatever we're going to do. Sounds good. All right. Well, when he gets the fly in it later on, we'll, we'll come back on. Dave's got his canopy, his uh, little fly on top of his uh, little tent here. And uh, 
we were going to set up a tarp here, but we're going to just uh, leave it out because we think it is going to rain and he'd like to test it out. So uh, you can also see he's got, he went ahead and staked it down. So you can see it just uh, stakes out and then on the top, same thing. So yeah, this is a pretty nice little tent. Uh, and it looks like it's, correct me if I'm wrong, Dave, but it looks like it's a little wider on the top. It is. Yeah. It is. It's, so that's kind of neat. It's kind of tapered for your yeah. your body. That's kind of neat. So it does have a yeah. Uh, front and yeah. down yeah. side. But yeah. And I'll you can see there's a little bit of a vestibule out the back, but also lets uh, some air in. Yeah. So yeah. But this vestibule comes out quite a little ways. This one, it wasn't mm -hmm. too bad. And so. of course, I'm rocking the Perea uh, Sanctuary Sill Tarp. And Sill Poly stretches a little bit. So I set it up and I just got busy and tightened some of them down. I might tighten some more later. Uh, but uh, And then I've got my bare buck hammock. And of course, this time we got our mosquito repellent or our mosquito netting on it. So, and uh, notice there's no quilt underneath of it. It's 90 degrees right now outside. It's about 86 here in the shade, but I don't believe I'm gonna need any kind of uh, under quilt tonight. It's gonna be plenty warm. And uh, got my straps up. I gotta put a couple of uh, rain drip lines on just to make sure in case it rains a lot. Uh, usually just put uh, um, either a shoelace or uh, I've got some small, um, what do they call them? Uh, those stretchy uh, bungee cords. I got a couple of them and I can just tie them around the end here and have them drip off and that'll divert enough water. And notice I've got my little uh, REI uh, camp chair. This is the first time I've taken it out. And uh, boy, it sure is nice and comfortable. I'm really enjoying it. One of my little hacks, I've shared this before, but maybe if you haven't seen some of my other videos, um, I have this rain or this uh, Reflectix that I put down underneath my tarp. It's a place I can put my feet, you know, when I first get out in the morning. <coughs> Excuse me. But one of the things I noticed is that sometimes when you, you know, if the ground's muddy or if it rains and stuff and it gets wet, then sometimes some of your legs start sinking in the mud. Well, what I found is if I put this Reflectix underneath, wherever I have my camp chair or my camp stool, I have a three-legged stool as well, and that keeps the legs from going down in the mud. So it really provides a really nice, stable uh, place for it. And for me, that's been really a, a, a lifesaver. Uh, so, you know, you might want to try that hack as well. Uh, th those little things right there that you get for your in your side your car to keep the wind uh, sun out of the car and keep it a little cooler. <laughs> those things usually cost anywhere from I think I got these for like 250, but uh, they, they, most I've ever seen is like five or six bucks. And boy, I use them for everything. I put them underneath the ground, uh, underneath my sleeping pads and stuff when I go, and you can tell the difference because it reflects the heat back up to you. And like I said, I can use them here. Sometimes I sit on them. Uh, if I don't have a camp chair or something with me, I can just take that and I can sit on the ground and it literally reflects the heat back to me. So good, good hack. Uh, probably one of the best investments I've made. Another investment that I made, and I've actually had this about a year, but this is the first time I've really used it because I don't usually go out in the summer. I have a platypus two liter bag that goes inside here and then it comes out and I have a... It hooks to my thing, and then I have a little spout here that I can drink from. And boy, that was really nice as we were walking in today. It was really easy to get a drink, and I didn't have to reach back and get a, a bottle out or anything like that. So that's a really nice thing, too. Um, I also have a Sea to Summit pillow, which I'm not really sure I need that in my hammock. I don't usually use a pillow that much, but sometimes I put it to the side of my head just to kind of lean up against. So we're going to try that. Dave's pumping up his... Uh, REI, what is it? Flash? Flash, REI flash. REI flash uh, uh, bag, and uh, it goes up really, really fast. I'm uh, quite surprised at how fast he can get that up. He has a little, one of those little uh, yeah. pumper things there for it. Bag pump thing yeah, and uh, he's just at a lot of places where we've been and, uh, and sleeps pretty good on it, so we'd certainly recommend that. So I'm sporting my new buff here. I got an order... Uh, I ordered 12 buffs for $12. Uh, 
uh, online. I can't remember where I got them. They're not as good as the Buff brand, but they're good enough for a dollar a piece. I got plenty of them and lots of different colors, so thought I'd sport at least one of them here now. It's getting hot enough that uh, this helps keep the sweat out of your eyes and that kind of stuff. Uh, so it's really a nice day. Now, when we got here, we were pretty well expecting it to be really, really hot and kind of oppressive today. But there's been a oh, probably a six to eight mile an hour breeze here most of the afternoon. We're in the shade because we're in the pine in a pine grove here. And then we're right next to the edge of a kind of a gully uh, that, that, oh, it's probably about a 600 foot drop or so. It's not straight down. But so uh, as the breeze runs up that gully to go up uh, along the creek there, uh, some of it comes off of there and comes off this ridge. And boy, it just feels really great. So uh, we're really enjoying it. Uh, we, we really, we almost canceled uh, just because we thought, man, we're probably stupid for doing this because we're probably going to kill ourselves. But long and short of it is it's been a really, really enjoyable day. And we haven't had anything to do, so we've been sitting in our chairs most of the time. We just got up, and uh, I got my mosquito netting all finished off. And I've got a little portable fan I brought with me, so I've got it hooked up ready for tonight. Got my bear bag uh, out for food and uh, got some other stuff. And uh, got my stove all set to do some cooking tonight. Got my water all ready. So, uh, yeah, we're pretty well set. I don't really have to do anything except eat and sleep the rest of the day. So that's kind of a nice thing. Dave's going to put up his uh, the tarp that we have. We have a bare butt uh, uh, rain fly, and we're going to put that up over the front of his tent and kind of over his tent so that he has a porch in the morning so in case it's raining. It, it looks like it's going to be raining late tonight or early tomorrow morning. So but that'll be great. Uh, I've got my uh, Sil Poly tarp right here, and I've got plenty of room, so even if it's raining, I can sit under here and eat breakfast and not going to be a problem. So... Yeah, it's good to be back out on the trail again, and uh, hope uh, hope you're able to get out here this summer too. Boy, it's been a lot of rainy days, and we we you know I'm re I'm not retired now. I'm I'm working again, but in the summer I have summers off, so you know we can come most days. You know, at least in the middle of the week. So we're here on a Wednesday, and uh, just gonna enjoy the evening, and and uh, we'll pack back in Thursday, and and uh, then I got a uh, I got some meetings for work on Friday, but. Uh, we're just going to enjoy it, and uh, yeah, <laughs> so we'll be back with you a little bit later. All right, so it's getting almost dark. I still think we got a little bit of light here so you can see me. Uh, Dave and I just had a great afternoon, I think. What time did we get set up, Dave? About 2? Yeah. Yeah, we got set up, everything pretty well set up by 2, and uh, then we've just sat here in the chairs and just talked about all kinds of stuff. We've had a great time. There's been a pretty good breeze most of the day. It's gotten a little close here now tonight. The wind has died down a little bit, but now it's just picking up a little more. We're hoping that front is getting ready to come through and uh, that'll cool it off a little bit. One of the things I wanted to show is this, uh, I've got my thermo cell with me and I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, you can see it right there. Inside, there's a little flame that goes in there. It runs off of a canister. And I can run this canister about, oh, probably seven or eight days, maybe even two weeks. Uh, on, and, and that'll keep this going. There's a little blue. I'm not sure you can see it, that it's blue. But there's a little pad in there that's blue. And as long as it's blue, it's still uh, got uh, stuff that will kill mosquitoes and or uh, repel them. And so this will last all tonight and tomorrow. I can probably leave it on. Although we did find out that after about six hours, it automatically shut off. I think it sh automatically shut off. Either that or we accidentally turned it off. I'm not sure which. But I'm not going to leave it on all night. Once I get ready to go to bed, I'll just shut it off. I don't want to waste this stuff. Uh, I have the mosquito netting on my uh, over my bare butt hammock. So... Once I get inside there, I don't need to worry about the mosquitoes too much. So, yeah, it's been a really fun evening. I had some tea from China, and uh, I enjoyed drinking that today, and I, I'm really not hungry. Uh, we stopped at Burger King and got a Burger King and some fries before we came, and I'm just not even hungry, so I'm not even eating tonight. Well, I, I take that back. I am having some snack with some peanut M&Ms. Uh, and I don't know if I'll be hungry tomorrow morning. We may just pack right back out of here. I wouldn't have had to pack my... Uh, 
you know, all of my food that I packed. I didn't pack too much, but I think my food bag was two pounds, four ounces or something like that. Uh, I have the AF uh, light uh, uh, backpack or, or bear, bear bag, uh, and it has the uh, little, um, oh, the toggles so you can do a PCT type of hitch. Uh, but I'm not actually going to worry about that tonight. I'm just going to put it right here by my on my strap uh, off of the thing. And I don't have hardly anything. It really smells much. So I don't think a coon is going to crawl up the... I, I don't think the coon is going to crawl up the <laughs> tree and then come down the uh, bear strap or the bear hammock strap and then get to my bag. But if it does, I've got a bag in front of it. So I'll hear it and then I'll yell real loud and... Uh, I think we can scare them. If nothing else, I can I can almost hit it from where I'm sitting. So uh, I've really enjoyed this uh, REI camping chair. Oh my gosh, this is the first time I ever had it, and on the on the trail. And uh, man, it is really really nice. I'm like I'm feeling pretty spoiled, and it's well worth being the heaviest thing in my bag. I think it's two pounds and maybe two and a half pounds or something like that. But man, is it worth it? Uh, Dave Kiefer steered me clear on that one for sure. So, yeah, so I've got uh, my backs, backs right there, and I'm going to cover it up with my uh, rain cover. And then, uh, you know, in case it rains, I'll probably pull it underneath here a little bit so that it won't get wet. But even if it sprays in or splashes in, uh, it'll keep it, keep it pretty well dry. There's nothing really in it, so I don't really have to worry about it anyways. So, yeah, so it's been, been a great day so far. Uh, we've been talking about it all day. We almost didn't come because it was going to be so hot and it really hasn't been hot and oppressive at all. In fact, it's been the worst right just this evening here for just a little bit. And now there's a good breeze blowing again. So let's just hope that breeze keeps going for oh, about two or three hours and then hopefully we'll be asleep. So here we are once more, leaving the leaving the campsite number ten. This is our favorite site. We had a great weekend. A uh, weekend. How long were we here? One Just night. One night. <laughs> a Wednesday night. Wednesday night, and uh, it was a hot day yesterday, ninety. But in here, it was very comfortable. And uh, I don't know. What did you think about the week? I, or the I, day. <laughs> I, I enjoyed it. The rain held off. We've had just great weather. Yeah. A little warm, but not bad. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't yeah. Bad at all. Now we got to do this uphill walk out of here. Yes. So that'll be bad. But then they're, du they're Dutchman calls, so that'll be good. Yes. That's the reward. <laughs> so, yeah, so uh, just remember, if we, if we don't get back on, uh, our saying still goes, if uh, we can do this, so can you. Anybody can do it if we can do it. So, uh, you know, get out on the trail and have a good time. You come down here, uh, when you get near the park and pack site number 10, there's a little road that goes off to the right here, and it looks like that's where it's going to. But right here, there's a bike trail. And then if you go over here, there's another one that says park, pack and park site number 10. But then notice the arrows kind of to the left a little bit. And that means you got to go that way and go down probably another 80 or 90 yards. So we've been back here three or four times and sometimes we make this mistake. The other day we made it. And so just know that this sign, this little arrow is actually going towards the left. And uh, if you follow that, you'll be fine. So Dave and I have made it back to the car. We have survived another Mohican trip. This is the July 2019 one. Mm -hmm. And uh, ah, good day. Uh, walked all the way back out didn't stop so that was good and uh, now we're gonna go do some little celebrating down at the Der Dutchman and uh, maybe have at least something with a couple calories in it so <laughs> yeah, just a couple <laughs> all right remember hope to see you on the trail go do something fun get out and enjoy our nature we're really blessed to have a lot of it around here so get out and enjoy it